My name is Elaine Farrell and I'm a History Lecturer at Queen's University Belfast and I teach undergraduate and postgraduate students Irish and British History. The most exciting courses that I teach are about crime and deviance. My own research focuses on Irish female criminals in the 19th century and I'm currently undertaking research on the Irish female convict prison which received women from all parts of Ireland who were sentenced to three years or longer. And I could tell any number of stories um, from the Irish female convict prison about the tattoos that the women had when they entered, about the children that they brought with them, because at that time mothers were permitted to bring their babies and toddlers into prison, and about homosexuality or about claims of favouritism between staff members and prisoners. But one case that I came across this week involved a prison matron's tie. So one of the convicts, Bridget Griffin, claimed that she had seen Matron O'Neill washing her son William's tie in the prison laundry. And this was quite significant because Matron O'Neill should have been supervising prisoners instead of washing personal items of clothing. But also Bridget Griffin knew that O'Neill had a son and also knew his name. So this indicated undue familiarity between prisoners and staff members. So it led to an investigation by the prison authorities and as was the norm in these cases, prisoners and staff members had to come and give their evidence. And Matron O'Neill claimed that she had used the tie as a garter. It had fallen off her in the laundry, she'd picked it up, rolled it up and tucked it into her pocket and then realised that a little bottle of ink that she carried in her pocket had leaked onto the tie and this is why she had proceeded um, to wash the tie in the laundry. In the end she was actually reprimanded and fined for her behaviour and her cream and brown polka dot tie has actually ended up in the prison records.